Hi everyone, this is Chris Steinke from Performance Analytics Life, and I'm here today to talk to you about one of our apps out on ServiceNow's ShareSite, the report menu. Um, you may not realize the share site actually was migrated. It's got a new uh, got a new home. It's actually on the developer site now. So to access any of this content, uh, you just want to go to developer.servicenow.com, and then you can find the share in between the community and events. Uh, if you just click on all projects, it'll show you everything. And to find our stuff, just search for life. And today we're going to be talking about the report menu dashboard. Uh, this, uh, this isn't really an app. This is just a, a dashboard. And it solves a very simple problem. Uh, if you've dealt with reports in ServiceNow, you know that searching for them, navigating them via that, that UI can be challenging. So this just creates a, a report, uh, a series of reports that are on a dashboard to help you see that more easily. Um, so I'll go over here. Here I have a personal developer instance, and I'm going to walk through the installation and show it to you. One thing I recommend, uh, if you click the gear up here, you want to switch that over to dashboards instead of home pages. That'll make it easier to navigate, and you'll see later how we use that as well. In order to do the installation, you want to go to your retrieved update sets, and then click Import Update Set from XML, and uh, pick the update set from your download folder. Uh, once you upload it, it doesn't load it instantly to your system. It puts it sort of in a staging area. And then you have to go through a preview and then a commit. So it's not in your system yet, don't worry. Um, but once you have here your retrieved update set, you'll want to hit the preview button. And uh, one of the things about our content is uh, most of it is almost always new stuff. We're not changing things in your system. We're adding to it. We're making things better. Um, so you can see here there are no updated records. They're all new. Therefore, you're not going to have collisions with it. So you shouldn't see any errors at this step. When you're ready to commit, you hit commit update set, and then it loads everything into your system, all the reports, the dashboard, the design, all that, and you are done. Um, it's there up, it's ready in your system, and you can go ahead and start using it. Now I'm going to click on the service now icon, and because I set myself to dashboards instead of home pages before, anytime I click now on that service now icon, it's going to bring up my dashboards menu. Which, oh, oh, added a second. There we go. And here you can see my report menu uh, is now there and in the system. Uh, it's divided up in a series of tabs. Each of the tabs is a different table. Um, so if you want to see all your incident reports, here they are on the first tab, grouped by type. Uh, if you want to see all your change reports, again, list of all the reports grouped by type. Makes it much easier to navigate around and zero in on one process area and not just look at one of the reports, but look at everything that's out there and available to you. Now, um, important thing to note is that this follows all the standard ACLs and security of the system. So if something is not shared with an individual, they're not going to see it on here. So this doesn't give people access to things that are not already uh, shared with them. If you want to look at one of the reports and you click on it, important to note, it doesn't take you down into the UI view. It takes you into sort of this, this middle layer. If I then want to look at the report, I can just hit view report, and then it's going to open it up in the uh, new report UI editor. So that's it, folks. Uh, again, I hope you're going to get some value out of it. It makes it a little bit easier to navigate and find things compared to the existing UI. If you have any recommendations to make this better or improve, uh, please let us know. If you like this and would like to see more content, uh, please give us a review on the site. Um, let us know what you think. If you have ideas for uh, what dashboard we should build next or maybe something that you use every day that you think a lot of people would get value out of, uh, please do let us know. We'd love to hear about it. Uh, thank you, everybody, and I uh, hope you find some, get some real value out of this report.